Hey guys, it's Francis, and I have a YouTuber's weekly collab for you, and this week's theme was Vintage Nails. This one was hosted by J Nails, so thank you, J Nails, for hosting this week. And here's a sneak preview of what all the other ladies have done. I will have their information linked below, as always, and if you're coming to me from one of their channels, I'm so glad you're here, and I hope you like what you see. I decided to go with the itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini feel from the 1960s um, and this is the look I came up with. I started off with two coats of Let Me Azure You by Girly Bits and it's a very subtle um, hollow and I'm going to be stamping with MDU in white and then I'm going to be coloring in with the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Dandelion and that's the Crayola one and I'm going to be using my um, Born Pretty Store stamper and I'm also going to be using an edge of a stamper and this is an HK plate that I got from a D stash and I'm going to be using these four little images here it reminded me I just looked at it, it reminded me of the itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini and I am showing application of this one it's very pretty like I said it's a very subtle hollow but it's a very gorgeous blue almost like a periwinkle color and it's good in two coats, beautiful formula on this one. And then I'm gonna come in and put a fast dry top coat on the top of this. I believe I'm using C and D for this one. And in hindsight, I probably should have waited and put this on a little later because I'm, I'm gonna need a little stick because I'm gonna be reverse stamping. So then I'm gonna put, um, the MDU white on these two images and I'm going to scrape up and pick up both of these images with that stamper head. It's quite a large stamper head. And then I'm just going to get rid of that a little bit of that excess and this is what those two images look up look like. They picked up perfectly. And then I'm going to pick up the hat and I'm going to pick up the little bikini bottom. And then I took all of the heads out of the stampers so that I could fill them in and I'm just using a dotting tool to do this. And I'm just gonna show you kind of a sped up version of how I fill them in. And I prefer to use a dotting tool. Um, you could use a brush. I would just suggest whenever you're filling in, make, make sure that your polish isn't getting too dry because if it gets too dry, then it gets a little sticky and gummy and you risk pulling up the image below. I know some people put a clear top coat on before they start filling in um, to avoid that situation, but I like to um, live on the wild side, so I don't typically do that. I really like using these clear stampers to do reverse stamping or to fill in decals because then you can always check your progress. You can flip it over and check and make sure you haven't missed any spots. And then when I'm done filling those in, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my super dry that I get at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna brush off all the excess and I'm just gonna dry brush on top of the polish to create a sticky base for my um, reverse stamping. And then when these images are dry to touch, I'm just gonna go ahead and push them on my nail, just like that. I'm sorry I was off camera for these, but I'm gonna put my little hat on my index finger, and then on my pinky nail, I'm gonna put that little bikini bottom, and I'm gonna have to put that one sideways because it's a kind of a big image for my pinky. And I didn't catch off screen was me doing the cleanup and, um, also, I put a top coat on another fast dry top coat on there and I floated it just like I would if I were stamping. So this is my final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I want to make sure that you go check out the other ladies. And I want to tell you thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye, everybody.